about the internet I am Shannon and today I've got a different type of video to share with you guys this was actually suggested to me by one of you uh, I think it was Brandy and she said you know you should make a video about the other youtubers that you like to watch and I was like that's a great idea because I also love hearing what youtubers other people like to watch because there's so there's so much content on this website and I just feel like so much of the good stuff goes unwatched because you know it's just not getting enough eyes on it and so it's not growing as quickly as some other channels are so i thought i would do a video where i tell you some of my favorite youtube creators i kind of did half and half <laughs> that was my newbie accent coming out i kind of did half and half um, where half of them are big creators and half of them are smaller creators. And I think I'm going to do a part two to this um, later on down the road because I there are so many small creators that I've become friends with that I just genuinely love their content. Um, and I don't want to make this video too long, so we'll save some for later. So um, definitely check back later on for that. So I figured first what we would start with the bigger creators. Some of these you might already know, some maybe you haven't heard of, but um, they're all, in my opinion, very entertaining. So the first one is, is one that I've recently just become obsessed with. I love this creator so much. His name is Nick Doramio. He does videos on his channel where he reacts to different movies and television shows. Um, he calls it Clip Breakdown, and he will watch a movie from beginning to end and um, show us clips and react to it, and he is very funny. Now, he's not going to be for everyone. Some of his humor is a little raunchy, but if you don't mind that, he makes me laugh out loud. He makes me laugh so hard that I'll go to Twitter after I watch his videos and tweet him quotes of things he said that made me laugh until I cried. He's very funny and um, yeah so and he'll break down things like Disney Channel movies that you know we used to watch when we were kids or um, Hallmark Christmas movies. That's where I first found him actually it was last year. He was doing a, a clip breakdown of a Hallmark Christmas movie that starred um, Melissa Joan Hart and Jason Priestley and it was so funny. It was so funny. So definitely check him out. I'll of course link all of these channels down below and you can go and check them out if you like. So next up we have um, Read With Cindy. She is, she's another one I found I think last year and she does book reviews and she does monthly book wrap ups where she talks about all the books she read throughout the month and she does rant reviews and that's something I really shy away from on my own channel. I don't really, if I really didn't like a book, I don't really do a book talk on it just because that's not, that's not the vibe on my channel, but it is the vibe on her channel and I love, I love watching her rant reviews. Again, she's just a creator that's very, very funny. Um, she, she'll, I'll watch her rip apart a book that I loved and it just, it makes me laugh so hard, just the things she has to say about it. Um, and she's definitely one worth checking out. I think she has a lot of really interesting ideas. Every so often too, she'll do a movie review, usually of like a Netflix, um, cheesy sort of Netflix movie and I do enjoy those too, but the reason I keep going back is for the book reviews. She's just so good. Next up, we have a couple of YouTubers that are more um, vintage content because I love, I love the vintage content on YouTube. I could do a whole video on different vintage YouTubers I love to watch because there's so many, but today we're just going to talk about two. The first one is Rachel Maxi. I think it's how you pronounce her last name. She is an absolute darling. I love her so much. She does videos on her channels where on her channel where she makes clothes, um, vintage clothes. She makes. She'll put together outfits. She'll take characters and like uh, movies and make outfits of what she thinks it might look like if it was from a different time period. Just so much great content. 
she makes crafts out of nothing and me and my husband at this point we always joke because at the beginning of her video she'll be like well this is probably isn't going to go well and we just look at each other and we're like no we know this is going to go great because it always goes great you're so talented and where i found her originally was i think two christmases ago she posted a video that popped up in my recommended and it was her looking at victorian era christmas cards and you guys <laughs> They're wild, these Christmas cards. And after that, I was absolutely hooked. She's got such a darling personality. She's got this dog named Frodo that she often incorporates into her videos. And it's just so funny, and she's just great. The second one is, a, um, their channel is called Kaz Row, And I just love this channel. This one is more video essay style, and they, um, do deep dives into different parts of history. Just deep dives into sort of niche things that are so interesting that I'm very interested in. Um, I think the channel that popped, or the video that popped up in my recommended that was the first that I watched from them was um, a look at Victorian era medicine. And you guys, <laughs> It's wild, it's wild, the medical procedures and things like that that used to be done and the ways that they used to be done makes me very thankful to live in this time period. And um, they've got a whole playlist of all the Victorian era. That's the, that's the era I'm most interested in when it comes to these vintage YouTubers. And Kaz has a fantastic playlist with all different kinds, all different kinds from like where ankles scandalous um, the controversy of, sorry, controversy, controversy, <laughs> controversy <laughs> of women having short hair uh, back in the Victorian ages and just so many other videos that um, I always find so informative, so informative, and I absolutely love watching them. Next up is one, so how many has that been? Four, okay, the final one I wanna mention is one, is a channel that is run by two women and it is called The Take. And what they do on their channel is, they do again video essays about movies and television or characters. Like how I found them was, uh, I'm a big Gilmore Girls fan, but I have long held the opinion that Rory Gilmore is one of the worst characters ever in television. Um, and just just a terrible person and I searched I typed Rory Gilmore into the search one day and a video from the take came up called the fall of Rory Gilmore and it just went through and it echoed so many of my own opinions that Rory starts good and so bad um, and from there I started watching more and more of their videos any movie you can think of they've probably got a video on there and it's just so good it's a huge channel but I love them so that's it for the bigger channels. So now the smaller ones, this, the first one we're gonna talk about, I wasn't sure where to put because she's definitely on the larger side. I think she's got like 12,000 subscribers. Um, but I was like, no, I guess we'll put her on the other side just because all the other ones have hundreds of thousands. But this, Trixie, this woman, she is, I just know she's gonna blow up. She's gonna be a huge channel. And that channel is Jordalane Reads. And it's another book channel. She does uh, book reviews, book wrap ups. She focuses mainly on horror. And I just think she's great. At the beginning of every video, she gives you a pep talk <laughs> where she talks about how gorgeous and amazing and strong you are. And she whispers it into her microphone. And I just love it. That just, it, it's good vibes on that channel, I feel. And yeah, so. Like I said, mostly horror, but just a lot of really good stuff in general. If you love listening to someone talk about books, which I do, I'll listen to anyone talk about any kind of books, even if it's not books that I don't like to, that I don't personally read, I will listen, even though I am a horror fan, so that's what brings me to her, but um, I'll listen to anyone talk about any book. <laughs> Next up is a dear friend of mine, and the rest are... The rest of these smaller channels are all friends of mine um, who I love so much. So the first one is Andrea on Je Suis Je Suis Moi. Um, she's got a fantastic channel. She does all kinds of things. Mainly the focus is on vlogging, uh, which I love. She always makes these beautiful, cozy vlogs. 
but she's also got other stuff. She's got some book related content on there, sometimes makeup related content, sometimes academic content. Um, and it's just all kinds of really great content. And she's just such a lovely woman. And um, you should definitely check her out if you hadn't, if you haven't, if you just love those cozy vibes, you will get that on her channel. And um, she's she's also an author. I've read a couple of her books. I've got one currently on the way that should be here any day now. I'm thinking Tuesday that she co-wrote with a friend of hers, which I'll be doing a book talk on. And I can't wait to share that with you. So keep your eye out for that as well. Next up, if you like makeup type content, which is kind of how I got into YouTube in the first place, because back in the day, I didn't realize there was so much beautiful content on YouTube. And I first ended up seeing makeup tutorials. That was sort of my launching pad into the world of YouTube. And it's how I started my channel, actually. I was like, well, I like makeup too. I could talk about makeup. And so I did, not realizing yet that there's a whole world where you can make videos about whatever you want. Because I've been at this now for, I guess, six years. Um, yeah, I just didn't realize. So then I kind of switched. I started slowly switching my content over to book related, which I guess was always in the back of my mind because back in the day I even named the channel Pages and Polish. Um, so yeah, but this channel is Kathy's Beauty Care Chats. She is an absolute angel, first of all, just a warm woman that just radiates kindness and... I just, I think she's fantastic. So even if you don't love makeup related content, but you're looking for a channel to watch that is hosted by a lovely woman, go and check out Kathy for sure. But as, aside from that, she does give great, she lists, you know, her favorite products, why they are, why they're not. She also does some lifestyle content and it's just all really great. Next up, the New Orleans Gardener. This is my dear friend, Linda. Now, I'm not a gardener. <laughs> I do not have a green thumb. I've got a couple of house plants that I've managed to keep alive. I don't know how, but I have. But I came across Linda's channel. We became mutual friends, and I just love listening to this lovely lady talk about her garden. It's like relaxation content for me. If I'm stressed out or if I just want to relax, I'll turn on one of her videos, listen to her, and my day is made better. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, definitely check it out. And if you're a gardener, then double definitely check it out. And the final one we're going to talk about today is another dear friend, and her name is Melanie Kate. That's also her channel name. Melanie does all kinds of things on her channel. She has lifestyle content. She does vlogs. She does crafts. These really sweet, simple crafts that you can watch and you can replicate easily, and I love that. Um, and she's just, she's always been a really supportive friend. I love watching her videos. She does look books as well and hauls and things like that. Watching her videos is like sitting down and you feel like you're on FaceTime with your friend. <laughs> I'm like, mm-hmm. I feel like I want to talk back to the screen because it feels like it's that sort of intimate setting. And like we're just having a chat. So there you go, you guys. Those are my current favorites. Oh, there are more, but we're just going to start with those. <laughs> And um, yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you watch any of these lovely content creators. And let me know your favorite content creator, present company excluded, of course. Um, and I hope you guys have a great, or that you had a great weekend and that you have a great week coming up. <laughs> Bye guys.